Hello, everybody, and it's a pleasant honor to be the host for today's um, webinar. We're glad to have you on the call. Um, my name is Ben, and I am going to be, uh, you know, overseeing today's proceedings. Uh, today, we have one of the community volunteers um, of the Binance Uganda group on the call. And he would be, you know, facilitating the major part of this conversation. And um, this conversation is basically, you know, a practical guide to using mobile money in um, Uganda. Hello, Benson. It's good to have you on the call. How do you do? Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm uh, doing well. Thank you very much, Ben. Great, great. So Benson is going to do a quick intro, and then we'll get on to the first part of the conversation. Ben. Brenton, uh, tell us about yourself. Uh, yes, uh, thank you very much. Uh, like I, uh, he, Benjamin already said, uh, my name is Benson, and uh, I'm a Pala. Uh, I'm a community volunteer, like he says, with uh, Binance Uganda. Uh, so I'm a Binance uh, angel, uh, which I've done for the last three years. And uh, uh, today, I'll be walking us through uh, basically uh, the, the main part, which is how to deposit uh, money uh, using mobile money and uh, carry out some uh, transactions on the platform and uh, be able to cash out the money. So thank you, Benjamin, and uh, welcome everyone to this webinar. Great, great. Thank you so much, Benson, for joining us. Um, we would also like you who is on the call to share this link, share the link to this um, um, live stream with your friends, your family in um, Uganda, you know, so that they can also take part in this practical session. Uh, without wasting your time, we'll go straight to the conversation for today. Um, but before we go into um, um, trading on the, the um, mobile money interface for for uganda we would like to show you a little about what binance is right so i'll quickly share my screen show us a very quick guide to what binance is and then i'll hand it over to um to to benson i hope that's fine all right so very quickly i just want to show just one slide here and then we'll take it up from there all right, so what is Binance, right? Binance is one of the, is the world's leading um, blockchain and cryptocurrency infrastructure provider. You know, with the financial products, you know, uh, um, suits that, you know, includes the largest digital asset exchange by volume, right? Binance is one of the most trusted crypto exchanges globally, and it is um, providing hands-on services and, you know, um, use cases in the crypto world today. You know, to check out Binance, if you're just, you know, hearing about Binance, you can go to www.binance.com and, you know, take a very quick um, 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 learning session about what Binance is. Binance is available to millions of users across the globe and is actually a very, very, um, um, and trusted platform by our users and by you know institutions all around the globe. Um, one more thing I'd like to talk to us um, about Binance is that you know people love to use Binance because of um, some certain features that you know helps us stand out, right? <clears throat> some of which are the fact that we have low cost fee um, um, for our trade traders. We, we operate very low uh, trading fees. We have a lot of portfolio um, uh, to you know trade upon. You can trade on different uh, coins uh, uh, on Binance. We have a high order book liquidity where you know a lot of you know traders are actually real time traders are actually using the Binance platform, and therefore lower slippage on the exchange. We also have fast execution time on our exchange. And finally, we have what is called the SAFU fund, you know, where uh, about a percentage of the trading fees 
are stored in a cold wallet where you know for cases that that would require emergency so Binance is actually looking out for her customers as most as she can i'll quickly talk on um the mission the vision and the values at binance right so the, in simple terms Binance's vision is to increase the freedom of money, right? The mission at Binance is to become an infrastructure provider for crypto um, in tomorrow's world, right? As uh, uh, CZ likes to put it, we like to look at ourselves as the Google of the blockchain industry. And the focus at Binance is to, you know, to provide the utmost value for our users. So Binance is 100% user Focus. All right. So um, Binance has a whole lot of, you know, um, um, portfolios in its ecosystem. Binance has grown from inception in 2017 till date. And this is not even the recent updated version of the Binance ecosystem. As you can see, the NFT, the Binance NFT marketplace is not here. Um, a lot of other you know, portfolios are not here, but Binance has grown over time to have a lot of activities in the uh the industry so with that being said i'd like to show us one thing you know that would help us you know for those of us who might be having issues at finance we like to state that finance does not offer financial advice um but we have support systems that are in place to help you solve your problems and solve your issues um, you can chat to, to us via the live customer support at binance.com slash ng slash chat and somebody will be on the other end to take your complaint and help you solve your problems. Also, you can take, um, you can get the latest announcements and information from the Binance um, announcements page by clicking on the link, the second link available to you. And then the first link is a you know a link to a platform where you have all of the um, frequently asked questions about the Binance platform and then you have the answers provided also to you so you have no need to you know get look out for direct or individual assistance Binance has provided a system that can assist you without necessarily even having to know anybody on the back end but that is with that being said, we still make extra, um, 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 we still make extra, you know, opportunities for you to get through to Binance. And you can do that by joining the Binance Telegram community, right? Um, for this particular call, we are focused on Binance Uganda users. If you have issues, you can join the Binance Uganda community. After this part of the call, I will share a link to the Binance Uganda community where you can ask questions to volunteers like Benson, you can look out for people like myself, and then you can just ask questions to any of the admins on the ground and they will be on to assist you. Um, thank you so much for your time. That's my short presentation. And I think we can head over to Benson. Benson, I don't know if you noticed, but there's a little noise on your end. I don't know if it's something you can quickly fix. Is it possible? Mm, I, I, I I believe it could be my. Is it outside noise? Is it uh, is it my headset rubbing outside. against? I guess it's outside. It's outside. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let me so, let me try to close windows or something like that and see. So so for those of you that don't know, Benson is a medical doctor by profession. He is actually taking this call in the office, so <laughs> pardon us. He just wants to be able to assist as much as he can. So while we try to reduce the noise at the background, um, we we are good to go, and we are uh, we are hoping that you have a very great session today. I think it's fine now, Benson. Okay. Okay. Yep. Okay. If you say it's fine, uh, then that's okay. If you say it's fine. great stuff. All right. So very quickly, Benson, do you want to um, chat to us about what maybe you can share your screen? Um, chat to us about what the mobile money feature is and how it's important for you know trading cryptocurrencies in your country. 
Uh, yes, uh, thank you very much, uh, Ben. And uh, as Ben says, uh, you see, I you would expect that I'm uh, I'm a pretty uh, busy, busy person, uh, but this stuff is uh, not complicated. Like uh, he, he says, it's easy and straightforward. Uh, can be done by anyone. Uh, so for, for most of the people in Uganda, I, I believe uh, they 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 know well uh, what mobile money is. Uh, basically, it's a financial service offered by um, uh, most of the mobile providers in Uganda, MTN, uh, Airtel, uh, all of them provide this service. And uh, so basically, you, you, you can have, you can deposit money. It's a financial product. You can deposit money. Uh, you can uh, store money. Uh, you can uh, withdraw money. Uh, so so pretty much uh, like a, a, a small bank uh, that you have on your phone. Uh, some go ahead to offer other financial products uh, like loans, uh, like uh, as, uh, small asset financing and all. So uh, uh, diving uh, right in, uh, we we want to show e e everyone because you see, uh, uh, when, when you want to trade a cryptocurrency or when you want to go into this world of cryptocurrency, uh, the gateway, how do you get in? How do you get your money in to start buying and, uh, and you know, uh, selling and, and, and transacting and uh, uh, Binance has uh, made it very easy and has put all sorts of ways to, uh, to do this uh, which wasn't the case many years ago when personally I, I, I knew about uh, cryptocurrency now it's so easy it's, it's straightforward and uh, I just want to take us uh, through uh, that uh, by so how do you how can you be able to, uh, to you know transact uh, within minutes uh, using mobile money. And I would do this by uh, uh, going, uh, doing it live uh, using my account. Uh, I don't know if you're able to share my uh, my my screen. Um, so click on the share button and I'll be able to share your screen. Okay, okay. So, uh, okay, so... There. Okay. Yeah. So uh, that's 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 how my uh, account uh, looks like when I when I've just logged in. So this is uh, this is my Binance homepage. Uh, I usually prefer it uh, in in the night mode uh, when it's dark. Uh, feels much better. And uh, so this is how it looks like uh, when I log into my account uh, on, on the website. It looks slightly different on uh, on, on the mobile app, but uh, the principle is uh, just uh, the same. Uh, so uh, in this case, if I if I want to get into cryptocurrency and I've already opened an account and verified it, so the first thing is to to to, to go to this button of uh, buy crypto and. Uh, uh, when I when I say I want to buy crypto, they will first ask me, uh, do you want to deposit money using mobile money? Uh, do you want to use credit card? Do you, want, do you have already money in your cash wallet? Or do you want to use peer-to-peer? -peer? But for this demonstration, uh, we're using mobile money. So I want to deposit money uh, using mobile money because I don't have money on the account, on the account my Binance account now. So I'll, I'll, I'll click uh, mobile money. And uh, uh, as as it loads, uh, it, it it already shows me which currency which currency do I want to use uh, for fiat. And uh, you see, there are many uh, hundreds of fiat supported, but I'm interested in using Uganda shillings in Uganda. And uh, the option is already selected for you mobile money. And note that this will attract a three percent fee during the deposit. Uh, so I'll click continue. And uh, it will ask me how much money uh, do I want to, 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 to deposit. Remember, the minimum amount of money you can deposit is 5,000 shillings. Uh, for, 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 for trading purposes, uh, the, the minimum amount you can use to trade is 60,000, uh, which is around uh, $20. So for me, I'll, I'll put around the, the minimum, near the minimum, let me put 70 thousand uh uganda shillings uh note that this is going to charge me uh a, 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 around 2100 which is three percent shown there 
Uh, maybe let me add a bit to make it 75,000. Uh, so, so that I get above 70,000. Uh, so I'll, I'll, I'll click confirm. And uh, as it redirects, it will dire redirect me to a, a third party payment page. So where it will ask me for my phone number. So my phone number, I'll punch it in and uh, click continue. And uh, here it's asking me whether I, I accept for, to be transferred to the third party page. And it has already sent me a one-time password uh, on, on my phone. And uh, this uh, one-time password that it has sent me on my phone, uh, the, the number I put, uh, I'll punch it here. Uh, here, and I validate the one-time password or the, the, the OTP. So at this stage, uh, it's, it's going to, to send through a push notification to my phone uh, so that I can confirm the, 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 the transaction uh, on, my, on my side. Uh, uh, I, I don't know if you're able to if you're able to, to uh, if you're able to 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 show my 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 video. Okay, I think people should be able to see uh, my my message. So it has pushed through a notification asking me that this third party wants to 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 check to to, to withdraw seventy five thousand shillings from my account, and uh, I'll go ahead and punch in uh, my my password, uh, my mobile money password. And uh, here it shows me that I have approved. After punching in the password, it shows me that I have approved the, 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 the transaction. Uh, I don't know if it's clear, not clear, but yes, I have approved the transaction. And uh, uh, that's uh, pretty much it. So uh, the rest is up to uh, it, the payment going through the third party and uh, actually reflecting in my account which uh we shall give uh, a, a, a second yeah so uh you note that this usually takes now uh, this usually takes a few minutes uh, i can take sometimes it's pretty instant like as you see uh now it's confirmed it has my money has arrived and uh i'm sure you you see that the deposit order has been submitted they're asking me to rate my experience which i think i'm very satisfied I didn't take uh, a while, and uh, so now, uh, if I want to buy uh, my my, if I want to use the money I've just deposited, also on my phone they have already they have just confirmed uh, that uh, they have just sent me a confirmatory uh, message, still confirming uh, that uh, I have uh, deposited uh, that money, that the money has been uh, removed and it has been deposited. And uh, uh, now all I need to do is to uh, buy crypto using uh, the money that I've just deposited. So there are two ways of doing it. I could go here to buy crypto and select cash balance, or I could go to my wallet, uh, go to Fiat and Spot, and, uh, and that should uh, bring me something like this, uh, which uh, on... Uh, on, on, on on going to uh going to my 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 crypto or rather my cash uh balance you can you can you can see it uh it is here so but uh since i want to to buy crypto so i'll, I'll come here and go to cash balance and uh click cash balance because it's already my my balance is already there so uh, let me see. I don't have uh, Ethereum in my account. So let me say maybe buy some Ethereum and uh, I select it. Remember here I've clicked buy. So I want to use uh, Uganda shillings. Uh, my my balance seems not to have uh, not to have uh, reflected uh, well here. Maybe I could try refreshing and see. Uh, but basically, the minimum is 60,000. It shows there. So if I want to use 70,000, uh, my, my balance may not have. Uh, let, me, let me just refresh uh, just in case. But uh, so it should, it, should, it should use my cash uh, balance. It should use my cash balance basically to... Uh, to, to, to 
to do this. So, okay. So, uh, I want to go to my fire tank spot and see whether this money has actually uh, reflected. It shows it's successful, not yet deposited, uh, not yet reflected in my balance. So, uh, I'll come. I'll come here. And uh, okay, not shown there. Okay. So, so that means we have to wait a little while. Yes, we have to, yes, to sometimes receive. yes, sometimes sometimes you want to sometimes you want to wait a, a little while as uh as as, as as to see whether the money actually reflects uh in the in the in the account. So still not reflected here. Uh uh but, but uh basically uh this is if 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 you have over sixty thousand uh, mm -hmm. It would be straightforward like that. So you put in the the, 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 the money of uh, that you want to use to buy, select the coin uh, that you want to buy, and as as you can see, direct uh, buying is favored in this. You can buy USDT if you want a stable coin. You can buy all these cryptocurrencies: Ripple, Ethereum, uh, Polkadot, uh, Dogecoin, and all these. Uh, you could select whichever you you want uh, and, uh, and 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 see. Uh, so if uh, this is uh, taking a bit long, but basically it should it should continue. Uh, we'll continue and uh, automatically it buys uh, after confirming. Yeah, yeah. So Benton, I would like to check. Is it possible to check your history to know whether the transaction has been completed? Yes. Uh, so, so we could go to, we could go to, I could go to my account, uh, then, uh, uh, then I'll, I'll, I'll go to under Uganda shillings uh, because I'm, I'm trying to transact with uh, Uganda shillings, so uh, I can say deposit under Uganda shillings. Mm -hmm. mm. And uh, here, here, actually, they're giving you. Uh, like they, they are showing you whether uh, you, you want to appeal, say, if, if it takes longer Click than on long. the FAQ, you'd see how long does it take to deposit the yes. one below. Yes. Click on the drop down below. Yes. So, uh, have you clicked on it? Yes. Yeah, so, 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 so there, there's a, there's a helpful FAQ here. Uh, mm -hmm. How to deposit crypto? Why hasn't my deposit been credited? Uh, and all, and uh, yeah, it's uh, usually uh, usually helpful there. But uh, okay, okay, yeah. Why let's let's just that? try to wait a, a little bit and see if if it deposits. Okay, yes. so here I get I've I've got a message on my phone. Uh, showing that my deposit has been successful so meaning meaning it has been processed and uh now it should be able to to, to work but there's a deposit and withdraw history here uh which 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 still uh one can always uh so i'll, I'll select fiat here uh in the past 30 days and in the past 30 days, it's showing that I have a 97, eh, 97,000, which wasn't successful, and, uh, unfortunately. Uh, but I have a 72,000, which I just deposited uh, on this, and it's now successful. It's been Benson. mobile money, Uganda, and oh, yes. Uh, it seems we cannot see that particular screen of your history. Oh, oh yes. Okay. Okay. So, oh, oh yes. So... Okay, but uh, where did you stop seeing this? So, yeah, so I, I, I FAQ. You. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. there's an FAQ here that shows how long does the deposit take. So, okay. and we say generally uh, within 10 minutes. So, okay. uh, and I think this is fair. That's been around less the time, actually. Yeah. Yeah, but, yeah. but, but also a caveat that may take up to one hour. So, no need to, uh, to appeal and, 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 and uh, try to chatting up in the, in the, in the, in the groups when mm -hmm. uh, it's under, under one hour, depending on the conditions. Okay, hours is successful. Yeah, uh, for the for the other uh, for the for the for the other 
so just maybe to share uh to share the screen uh in a way that you'll be able to see uh the entire yeah yes also okay. bear it in mind that you would also show us how to make withdrawals yes exactly okay so uh, uh you're able now to see my entire screen yes please yes so uh when i if i if i wanted to see uh my deposit history maybe i want to see is it still processing is it uh is it is it processed i can i can i can go in, in, in into my wallet uh my wallet mm -hmm. and uh wallet i went under fire transport and it got me here so i want to see my deposit history so i can go in the right upper corner click on it and uh clicking on fiat uh because uh, I want to see fiat, uh, that is Uganda shillings. So, and in the last 30 days, so here I'm clicking the past 30 days, but I could make it seven. And uh, in the in the in the past seven days, uh, these are the deposits. Uh, as you see, uh, I have this is the latest that I've made. This one, which has been yeah. the state is successful. I have one which mm -hmm. was processing, but uh, money wasn't wasn't deducted. So. Uh, I so think, one quick question. One quick question. So yes, let's, on the assumption that the transaction is not successful, and yes. you're looking to, you know, you know, complain or lay complaints to support, the next thing you want to do is to click on the drop down by the right. Yes. Yeah, and then you you see the other ID. Yes. And then when you submit the other ID to Binance support, we'll be yes. able to track the process or the, exactly. the, the level of you know, completion of your transaction. Exactly. So there's nothing to be scared of for somebody like Benson who has not seen his 72,000 Ugandan shillings. All he needs to do is to submit a query you know, to us if there happens to be such a case. But I feel for him, all he needs to do is just wait, wait a few more moments, and then he'll be able to complete the transaction. Great stuff. Yes. So, 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 so the good thing is, yeah, go ahead. The good thing is that now it's it shows successful. Uh, it's been uh, successful uh, in under ten minutes, which is uh, uh, pretty much a good time, I would say, because I wouldn't have uh, gone to the bank and everything if I wanted to, to. I don't know, use another manual method. So uh, that's fair, under 10 minutes. Uh, so uh, what I, uh, I wanted to, to do is to use this money uh, to, to buy crypto. And uh, so I'll, I'll come back under the buy crypto uh, tab. Uh, on, the, on, the, on, on the app, it would be under the trade. So you go uh, 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 on, on the trade icon uh, down, uh, down below. And uh, then you should be able to see where Fiat is. So, uh, but on the on the website, uh, it's buy crypto. So now I, I I will go under cash balance because I want to use the balance that I have in my wallet. And uh, when I click there, it brings me on this page. And as you see, it's now updated uh, that my deposit that I just made. And uh, what I just need to do, uh, maybe I need to use. Uh, 70 let me say 70 i have 77000 let me use 75000 and maybe buy ethereum uh which i don't uh, have at the moment so as you see uh it's it's going to give me 0 0.005 ethereum i'm contented with that uh so i'll, I'll click continue and uh and uh, after on, on after clicking continue then uh, it wants me to confirm because it has given me a rate and it wants me to confirm whether I agree with the rate. Uh, it has shown me the price of the, the asset I'm buying, the amount of the asset I'll get, the fees it's going to charge me, nothing. Uh, yeah, it's zero shillings. And uh, and uh, the total that I'll use, I've, I'll, I've, I've read and agreed to the terms and conditions, I'll confirm. So you need to confirm at that rate is fixed when you confirm in the, in the time that is uh, given to you. So now it's processing and it's bought for me uh, 0 0.05 Ethereum. And now that's done, I could 
I can use my Ethereum for whatever I want to do. Uh, as you see, uh, as you see in my in my in my uh, account, uh, I already I already I, I have some uh, Ethereum, uh, which is uh, which is which is probably uh, here, which is which is which is here. And uh, now, if I if I wanted to, okay, maybe just to just to show the balance uh, pretty quick. So this is the Ethereum uh, that I have bought. See. Uh, it's 0 0.052 and uh now uh all i need to do if i want to is to is to sell it uh because i want to cash out my money again and this is around uh 20 dollars uh here if you want you could change your settings uh in in your settings in your account you can change settings to display the value in uganda shillings uh i'm i'm not going to 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 to, to do that uh but uh so uh, as you see here, uh, I'm going to I'm going to uh, sell. I'm going to sell. I'm going to sell this Ethereum, and uh, I'll I'll use the, the same exact procedure. Yeah. So I'll go to uh, I'll still go to this button buy crypto. Uh, I'll go to cash balance still. Uh, uh, instead of the buy button this time i'll, I'll select sell uh -huh. okay because i want to sell not to buy this time so then uh so so you see here it says i want to sell crypto which crypto do i want to sell i'll, I'll, I'll select it it's the ethereum that i just bought and i want to sell it into ugandan shillings uh so in this case i let me sell the maximum of what i bought and as you see, because of the, the spread, I will get around 71,000 uh, shillings. Uh, so click continue because I'm okay with that. Uh, so they say, what do I want to use? I want to use, uh, I want to get uh, the cash balance, not the peer-to-peer. -peer. Uh, I want to get the cash and uh, I'll continue. Uh, and uh, so it has already displayed. Uh, so this is a total of around... Uh, uh, it has given me a rate of around uh, 66,000, uh, uh, which I'm going to okay with just for the sake of uh, this demonstration, and uh, it will process. So it's now complete, and uh, and now I have my, my Uganda shillings back. Okay? Wow. So it's back yeah. to your, your, your Ugandan wallet. Yes, buy back to my wallet because Fiat and Spot is is, is under the same tab. So uh, mm -hmm. where the where the rest of the crypto is is where the uh, the Fiat also is. So now all I want to do is to withdraw my money back to my mobile money, and uh, I'll go here. I'll go to withdraw, and uh, on that, okay. So it's here. I want to I want to withdraw Uganda shillings. I want to use the, the, the mobile money uh, still to my same uh, mobile money. Uh, important to note is there's a limit depending on your level of uh, verification. Depending on the verification level, there's a limit to how much you can withdraw. So I'll, I'll select. Uh, let me let me withdraw maybe 60, 68,000. And uh, it is processing. Uh, the transaction fee will be one thousand, and I'll get around sixty-six nine thousand uh, nine hundred and eighty. Uh, and I'm satisfied with that. I will say I want to continue. And uh, the one which number should, do, do I want to use uh, to withdraw? And uh, this is the phone number I want to use. And. Uh, well, that, that sounds good. So they send me a confirmatory message to confirm what I want to withdraw. I'll confirm. Uh, it looks good. And so I, I have all this, uh, I have all this uh, as two-step two verification. And so uh, I, 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 I'll send myself all these verifications just to, uh, just to get, uh, you know, just to get all this, uh, all this 
So those are the codes to validate that you are the one trying to withdraw your money. Exactly. It's not someone else trying to withdraw the money. It's actually me. So this is an additional uh, step of uh, of your, to ensure your security. And uh, everyone should uh, be having uh, this. Okay. So I've put in all the codes and uh, we're good to go. Uh, so the withdrawal order has been submitted. Uh, I haven't received the money, so I wait for to, to, to receive the money before I uh, before I read the experience. Uh, however, it's usually instant. Actually, the money has already come. And uh, uh, if you're able to see uh, my 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 messages. Uh, then you realize that uh, there's uh, there's uh, a deposit uh, from from a third party of the same amount of money that I initiated. Uh, I don't know whether that's clear. Yes, uh, yeah, the yeah. same amount that I initiated, and uh, uh, to complete uh, the whole thing. So basically, that's uh, the simple way to be how you can deposit, transact, uh, you know, buy, sell, withdraw. Uh, using mobile money on uh, Binance.com. Uh, thank you very much. Great stuff. Thank you so much, uh, Benson. That was actually very, very insightful. I believe everyone can, can you know, you know, execute this, can do this now on their own. Uh, but, you know, there are places where you might be stuck. And like I said before, we have... A community that you know can help you understand how the process works can help you you know navigate the process and you know help take care of all of the challenges you might be having with the process so i want to drop the the link to the binance community at uganda so that you can join uh, people like benson and all other admins and angels to you know ask questions and hope to get the right answer so um Benson, how how often do you do you use this um uh, feature this channel mm, personally i uh i as you see i have uh, i've had only two transactions in the last seven days uh, mm -hmm. uh so yes I, I i use it as well as mm -hmm. uh, other gateway uh channels uh like peer-to-peer -peer. i also use it uh quite uh, you, you, yeah, but, you are, but this is you, you're not being on the community ben, benson i want to yes. know if we recorded numerous complaints about the channel so far on the ugandan community are there any complaints about how the channel works and whether or not it is difficult uh, so uh, I think uh, a few of the times uh, the, 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 there have been a few issues. I wouldn't say there are so many, uh, but uh, yes, once in a while you get a user uh, where you know the the, 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 the the payment is stuck, maybe between the third party and uh, and the platform. Uh, mm -hmm. But we've always uh, easily followed up with the fire team and uh, and uh, easily got a solution uh, for these uh, for cool. these users. So one more question: um, Do you do you um, how do I put this? Okay, so would you recommend someone to to try it out? Yes. Uh, so this method is uh, straightforward. It's uh, it's available twenty four seven, and uh, it's run uh, by Binance itself. So the liquidity is there. You know. It's not like uh, sometimes peer-to-peer -peer might have its own advantages, but uh, this method also has its own advantages. Uh, the liquidity is always there. You're sure that the money is always there. Uh, Any time of the night, like if you're transacting in Uganda shillings, you realize that like at the, in the middle of the night, 3 a.m., uh, many of the Ugandan, uh, say, uh, traders on peer-to-peer -peer might be asleep and you have no, no, no one to, 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 to deal with and, uh, you know, uh, get the the, the the money that you want or to sell so this is a reliable way and uh, uh the liquidity is always there and uh, mm -hmm. as you see it's, it's it's quick it's pretty quick 
uh, sometimes peer to peer, uh, there, there might be. It's really dependent on another uh, human being on the other side, and uh, depends on trust with, with the, the other side. Whereas here, Binance uh, has a reputation, and uh, even if there's any challenge with this, you're pretty sure that my money is safe. That is, uh, mm. I think that is uh, personally, that is one thing that gives me peace using this method. I know that it's Binance running this, even if there's a problem, my money is safe. No one is trying to scam me on the other side. It's, uh, it's pretty straightforward and safe. Great, great. Thank you so much, uh, Benson. I'll, I'll give you the final question because I know this is one of the, like, the questions that a lot of people want to ask, um, and it's relating to KYC. Can I, can I use this feature without KYC? Uh, so, no. Uh, so, without passing uh, your KYC, and uh, uh, there's, there's been a few adjustments currently, and I encourage uh, everyone to go on the platform it will always when you log into your account it will always be capitalized uh, on the few changes uh, that have uh, come in due to regulatory compliance uh, so you must pass kyc uh, before you you actually start dealing uh, in fiat that one uh, there's no other way around it and uh, maybe one other thing that people usually ask is can i have more than one account using the same documents uh, uh, that's not possible so you must pass kyc uh, uh your, your one person one account and uh, uh then you can actually be able to transact great thank you so much brenton i'm looking through the comments and i i think we've answered um the many questions that we can so for someone who says ivan says I cannot use, I do not receive codes, right? I try using yes. the app and I cannot receive codes. Ivan, your 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 problem is actually a very simple one. Reach out to support um, via your app and then chat to them your problem. We'll be able to re rectify your, your problem as soon as possible. Another way to get through to support is to reach out to Brent, uh, Benson on the, on the TG channel and then Benson will advise you how to go about it. And then we can also see how we can help you on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Anyways, thank you so much for your time, Benson. Thank you for making out time from your busy schedule. And, you know, at the hospital, thank you for also saving lives as much as you can. Um, till we come away next time, we are very excited to have had this opportunity to share with the Ugandan community. Cheers, everyone. Yeah, thank you, Ben, and cheers, everyone, and uh, greetings from Kampala. Sure, sure. Yeah, sure. Bye. Bye-bye. All right, bye. Bye, everyone.